Hey guys, I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to access the deep web. First off, you're going to need an application called Tor Browser. You can access it off of Google. As soon as you download it, you can open it up and click this little onion up here. Click New Identity. And this will mask your IP address. So once it restarts, you can go right into the search bar and you can type in the hidden wiki. That's your most useful site that you can find. There's loads of links in there. Uh, quite a few of them are working. Uh, quite a few of them don't work, however. Yeah, it all depends on how much the site's being managed or who the site owner is. So while that's loading, I'll go and search for another one. The Intel Exchange. Okay click that guy. I'll have all three links in the description below for your curi curiosity. And while that's loading, I'll open up another one called the Onion Repository. Now this also has a load of links in here. So first off I'll show you the hidden wiki. Uh, the most useful thing on the hidden wiki is probably DuckDuckGo. It's a search engine that you can use to search the entire deep web for whatever you need. Um, there's that and there's other search engines like Torch uh, or there's one called Not Evil. And um, there's things on here like UK Guns and Ammo, things like that. You know, anything illegal is on here, but there's also ebooks and there's free textbooks, things like that, and you can download things off of here. Um, so there's that one. The Intel Exchange is the second most useful because there's a links and resources. You can sign up and you can ask questions if you need links to anywhere, that sort of thing. So here there's um, a long list of links right there. So here you can see that the long list of links takes up a lot of space. So if you just go down, it'll just keep going and going and going. A lot of these will be broken because they are old, but you can try them anyways. So feel free to search the Intel Exchange. And then the last, li or the last thing is Onion Repository. Now you want to stay away from things like jailbait videos or child pornography, things like that. It's illegal and will get you caught and put in jail. I have never personally been on any of these sites, never even ran into it accidentally. Uh, one thing I did here is that you're not supposed to go on the Twitter clone version on here is because it's a child pornography website. I did hear that it used to be a real Twitter clone, but somebody changed it into a child pornography site. So anyways, on here you can see there's um, Bitcoin gambling, things like that. Uh, Agora market registration, I heard that one's very useful. It has a lot of forums on there. You can chat with people. Anyways, um, that is how you access the deep web. For added security, you can get the, or you can disable Java and you can disable your Adobe Flash Reader. They say that when you download images or if you download chat boxes, that thing, that sort of thing, it will, um, it will be able to show your location. It'll show your original IP that you used, which makes Tor basically useless. So, anyways, um, I hope you guys found this tutorial educational and fun. Not really, but more educational. <laughs> okay, have a good day, guys. Uh, I'll be uploading more videos. If you liked it, please subscribe. Um, and, yeah, have a great day.